So for a fingerprint lock, we will need a big soft 1G gateway to enable the feature of issuing a fingerprint from the front desk. In this video, I will show you how to add the gateway and link the gateway to the lock. Of course, this gateway is also able to link the device like a RFID lock or password door lock. But it is especially useful for fingerprint locks. So on the application of the cell phone, we will choose to install device and install gateway GW. So 30405 Now follow the instructions on the cell phone Connect the power supply to the gateway first And disconnect the network cable first Okay, so just connect the power cable It's powering up The LED is blinking now scan the code of the device okay Now we have entered the IP of the server and press submit. The port number just leave it as 9494. In my demo setup, I will use DHCP. If there are special requirements from your IT department to set, for example, static IP, you can also configure it accordingly. In this video, I will just leave it DHCP. So, and then I will name its location. Let's say that it's in the first floor. First floor. And then submit. Confirm. Installation is finished. Now we are okay to plug in the cable. Press confirm. And now the LED of the device stays in blue and the network indicator, the small green LED is blinking. That means already set and connector to connection to the server is a seed so next step we will show how to link the server link the device to the lock go to car menu network car tap issue now i will need to put a car on the encoder So to link the lock to the gateway unit, we will use the previous made network card. So swipe the card on the lock, the lock will enter gateway setting uh, the lock will enter network configuration mode. Okay, we're back to the computer. Now, the gateway is shown in here. The lock is also in ready state. We will go to search device. This time we will choose 433. And then click OK. 
you start to search the logs that in network configuration mode. It is so in here one zero zero two the ROM ID of the log. It is not bound. So we will click on bind. Okay. Okay, wait, it's already bounded. 